Okay, so we're just going to go through the feature box today. So, just going to find the classic feature box there. Just going to drag that in. Once that loads, just got a few options again on the left. Um, so, the title, which is this bit here, um, you can add in um, as much text as you want. If you want to, like, add in uh, a good good chunk there um, we're going to need that for the example further down again you've got options to change the color of the text um, and the um, the text below it so then we've got the see the title and the content we can change again uh, from image or an icon um, and then if it's an icon then we'll just um, change it there. Um, just going down, we've got the graphic size. We can change that. Uh, again, we can change the color of the icon um, and we can change the background. So if we change that to one color, if we don't want to have an icon background, again, just like select it to be transparent go with that and then you can choose that and you probably want to make the icon bigger if you've got that um, the next is the graphic shape so we had square before um, so if we go rounded and then we we'll just choose a color for that uh, you can see that it's square but with a rounded edge you've got the two um, different icons uh, different options there that you can choose from um, an animation now you've got a huge range there um, so just go through some um, it will do the animation as that goes in um, so just choose one that, that you like the look of the graphic animation offset um, I would always leave this at 50 um, if you change it to 60, you're just, it's not actually going to change much, so just leave that as it is. The delay is in milliseconds, so if you've got um, like two or three different graphics going, you can trigger them to go off one at a time um, by changing this um, the animation delay. Next, you can add in uh, a link at the bottom. If you want a read more link, that's just going to appear um, after the text. So there, and then we can choose where that link goes to. So if you're doing a feature on one of your products, you can then link to the product that you're talking to, talking about there. Again, link title app attribute, same as the button. So we can just copy and paste what was in there and again we've got the open link in a new window so external links let that open in a new tab otherwise keep that off if that's going to stay in the same site and we've also got the option to change the color of that text so you can see I've just changed that to, to black to make it stand out okay last couple of options so the alignment Currently we've got it centered, but you can go left or right aligned. So let's go left. We'll see we've got a few more options there. So this is making it more of a list. Um, and the vertical alignment here is in regards to the icon. So if you set middle, it's just going to be the middle of how big the text is. Um, and then you can edit the spacing as well, which is just going to choose change this gap um, between the edge of the icon and the text there. Um, maximum width, width. Um, we can just leave that as none, as that's going to fill the whole container. If you did want to get creative, you can change that to a pixel amount. Pix and it's just going to change the width of the box as that did before um, generally giving it as none 
um, is fine. And then you've got ID and class and custom styles if you want to add in some extra um, effects there.